Welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming here at the Club Tournament of Champions here in Brigham City, Utah. We're going to stick with the men on center court coming up. The women are just getting started. They started at 10 local. And onto the court comes Federico Staxrud and Mario Barrientos. They're the 12th seed. They won their first match 11-9, 11-3. They will be facing Tyler Lung and Callan Dawson. Callan Dawson is coming off an impressive run at the Skechers Invitational last week, won five out of five matches against the top players in the world. And they're rolling already today, 1-11, 1-11, one in their first round match. To set the scene, you will see Tyler Lung, again, we talked earlier about uh, the Utah contingent. Well, Tyler Lung is certainly one of those. So Lung will receive. Barrientos will be serving with the hat on backwards. He's next to the single specialist, Federico Staxrud, whose doubles game Time is zero, on zero, the rise. This will be a good one. Let's play pickleball. There's the violent right finishes that Loong is known for. And then next to him is the lob doctor, Callan Dawson. If zero, he doesn't zero, lob one. in this match, I will be stunned. Second, what a beautiful little two-handed roll there by Staxrud. So again, so much zero, zero, two. of that singles can set him up off the bounce in doubles. Callan Dawson there reaching in. He's using that uh, Pro Kenex Ace of Spades paddle One, zero, that uh, has so much pop. And uh, turnabout is fair play. Right a nice flick by Staxrud there catches Tyler Loon. Zero one one. Second serve. Oh, high thirds will high thirds will be punished by players at this level. Zero one two. That's tremendous hands by right Loon thwarts the shake and bake. That looked like brownies would be served. And he said, put those back one, in zero, the one. oven now. Great job by Loon. See the unique dinking style of Callan Dawson. He takes time away by short hopping it or reaching in and taking it out of the air. Doesn't usually hurt you off the bounce, but Will with the lob really loves to take the lob out of the air too. So you'll see lob volleys. Real nice patient point, and Staxrud's the first one to find a ball that he can attack and gets it done. One, zero, Just a good two. look at Tyler Loon to serve. Point. That one more of a bait ball, and what I mean by that is at its beginning, it looks like an two, attackable zero, ball. It ends up low once it's in a hitting zone, and then you're committed to taking it out of the air and attacking. and trouble ensues. Staxrud got highlights all over the place today. The two-handed backhand roll before, and then look at that one-handed ATP. Beautiful job by Federico. Zero, two, one. There's the lob volley. And we had a push off from Berrientos. A lot of tennis players will do that. You'll rotate you, your foot and 
push off two. the kitchen line as he did there. And Loon will be earning all day, so. I've got the replay. All right, we'll look at that right footfall call again. Here's the lob. There's the rotation. You saw the left foot never gets down Two again. Thank one. you to the truck for that. And that is a perfect example of another advantage of throwing up lobs. You'll get that opportunity, Thanks, get the footfall call. So lobs from an offensive position, which is what Dawson uses Two them zero for, zero. can pay significant defense. That dividends, excuse me. That's why he is the lob doctor. Good pressure right by Stacks Rude there. If your opponents are Zero back, keep one. them back, folks, and just give them the proper pace. Leave yourself a little margin. Second serve. Uh, plenty of margin taken there with Stacks Rude's drive goes well deep. And one thing you do have to think Zero about two when two. you come to play in Utah is the altitude. It definitely plays a, a role. That's why players like to get right here out. at least a day early and find that range because it is absolutely different. Uh, played in the senior pro yesterday myself and you just have to find the range of where you want the ball to be as it relates to where it usually is at whatever sea level you live at. Second serve. Those are all the things that go into a tournament, the preparation, what's the weather conditions, what altitude, all of the pros were coming from pretty pretty much zero in uh, California. So uh, got to make that adjustment. Obviously, we're well into the tournament now, and that uh, that should be done. Zero, two, one. So Barrientos and Stacks would feel like they've been playing for a half hour and don't have a point yet. Staxford this time brings the one-handed backhand down the line. So his disguise on the backhand has definitely one, caught two, Loon one. a few times, and they are on the board. Some Staxford wizardry. And there's the long arm you, of Loon with the Ernie. Just so one, two, two. athletic. says I can do the same on my side so uh, well played there sets up stacks root and see the mountains yes. in the background two, two, two. beautiful American flag blowing right next to the ginormous Dura fast 40 blow up ball it's a staple on the PPA tour So when you're playing Lung and Dawson, you're not likely to be hurt if the ball is bouncing at the kitchen line. Obviously, Dawson will throw up the lobs, but uh, they're just going to be patient. So it's who leaves the ball up first. That time it was Dawson and Lung, and well done by Stacks Root again. So they put a little three-point run together to take the lead here. Game number one. Two, three, one. That's a beautiful overhead by Stacks right there. Dawson didn't get it quite two, three, to, two. you want to find a left shoulder on a right-handed player and didn't quite get it to the corner enough. There's a nice shake Point. and bake by Dawson and Loon. Three, three, two. Dawson, the former sidearm pitcher in college, so, uh, that's why he has that unique serving motion. Yeah. 
That's just a point. beautiful point by Loong and Dawson tried to lob over Loong and then all the calamity at the kitchen line for Stacks Road under Four, fire three, and Dawson finishes behind him. So that's what they'll do. They'll use the shake and bake if they can win off that. If not, if they get to the kitchen line, they're going to grind you Five, three, until two. there can be a lob, there can be an Ernie, or you leave one up. That's why it's a tough right team if you're not patient. That's why three, they come five, in one. here looking to do damage. Again, Staxrude finds this backhand, sneaks it down the line as Loong is easing into the middle. That's something that's going to have to be addressed Four, as that's a one. couple times. Staxrude's found that same spot. That's just pretty great Thanks, deep return. Then you've got to come all the way to the other side of the court and finish. Four, five, two. That's when Obscene athleticism is such a nice compliment to your pickleball game. Five, four, one. Callan Dawson from Encinitas, California, where the Bobby Riggs Racket and Paddle Club is uh, going gangbusters with pickleball right now. Just uh, added even more courts down there, a great place to play if you're in the Southern California area. 5-4-2. Side out. Again, Staxrude starts the fight and they finish it, so no points gained, so. Uh, Four, five, one. Barry Entos and Staxrud have a chance to tie or come out in front. Second serve. Again, the Staxrud drive too high. And I mean, when you're playing at this level and you want to drive Four, the five, ball, two. that has to be two balls, maybe three at most above the net, or you are going to set off a problem. And there's another one. Right Just out. too much pace at the kitchen. So two quick holds. For Dawson and Loon. Five, four, one. Another Point. little flick, Ernie here from Loon, and great job by Dawson of being ready when you're six, four, one partner does Ernie and then goes back cross court, you can be at a significant disadvantage. Uh, good job by Dawson on the prior point and then drives the third wide to there, second serve. Six, four, two. Saw Loon and Dawson showing a good example of, Four, you six, know, one. if you can grab one step or two steps, you just can't be in a hurry getting in the kitchen line. And then obviously Dawson on that last one would have been better off just laying it in the kitchen and then playing 50-50, especially after all that work to get there. Again, it's 
It's a no-go zone for a dink in that area, and he is so effective at seeing it and going. Four, six, two. It's a place a lot of people like to dink the ball, and he just completely shuts that down. Side out. Stocksford sometimes will be leaning back on that backhand cut dink. Six, so there's four, Tyler Loong serving at 6-4-1. And again, Staxrud is just wearing out the right side of Loong, just putting the ball there consistently. Six, four, Six four two. Over reserve. Point. Good mid court reset by Dawson, and uh, it's one of those you Seven, want four, to two. stay ahead. Barrientos couldn't uh, put that up and over. Again, it is the stacks rude backhand that causes the problem. That time he went two-handed and brought a little more pace at Loon. Jammed him up and able to finish. Four, seven, one. Point. And now the stacks rude backhand Highlight reel continues. That's a second ATP, and that one was hit really hard. It's Five, not seven, easy one. to hit a ball that hard, that low, and keep it in. And he was able to do that. I don't have any surprise that they will continue to stack him on the backhand side. Point. And great hands to stop the Ernie in there within one. Six, seven, one. Point. And the Stacks Rude show continues as he takes that. I love being aggressive on a short return, come up there, especially when the team is unwinding the stack and seven, seven, force one. them to either hit a ball on the run or, in that case, not even be able to reach it. Great seven, hands by Dawson there. So tied at seven, game one. Seven, seven, two. Side out. So they get to seven and can't make the third there. So do Dawson and Loon have a reply? Seven, seven, one. Second serve. Serve just sails a bit deep. Seven, seven, two. I want to try and get a deep serve when you know they're unwinding a stack. So you see the exact same thing Point. happens, and Barrientos is on the move. Couldn't be set. Good drive. We saw Loon blasting drives in California. He'll definitely have the altitude dialed in being a Utah player. Side out. Loon leaves it up. Good. Caught on the side. He doesn't play very often. There's a switch in the middle on a poach. When you're ahead, Seven, eight, when you one. get them to switch on something like that as a point, you have to win. Barrientos and Staxford do win it. Second Getting third. the high third set up that trouble. Good job by Dawson of hitting the ball down. 7 8 2. Oh my, the Stacks Root ATP party continues on this one, but this time Loon is ready with the block. Barrientos was there, but cannot make it. So, 8-7. Eight, seven, eight, seven. Ooh, that was one of those that if it snuck over, might have rolled 
bounced back into the net, but uh, didn't get there. Eight seven two. That time, Ling is ready. Again, if the ball is down, have your paddle up. That was a difficult attack from Stacks Rude. Ling was ready. So, a spirited game number one here. We've seen a lot of backhand beauties from Stacks Rude, but he and Barrientos are down two to Loom, and Dawson will be back with the end of game number one. All right, welcome back everybody. Dave Fleming here at the club tournament of champions. Center court here framed by the mountainside and it is Callan Dawson who you see Nine there Nine serving seven, up to Staxford and Barrientos just called timeout. That's tremendous hands by Dawson in the middle. And again, Loon was ready for the Stacks Root attack that time. And we are at a game point. 10 7 2. Right That's a good short hop ball by Barrientos there. 7 10 1. So. They stop one game point, but again, if the the third, whether it's a dropper driver, is up against this duo and against most of the best players, it's just Seven, ten, not two. going to be a good opportunity to score. Right out. But you'd rather have that than hit the net because at least you can scrap your way back into it. So two lightning ten, seven, quick one. points and they're back serving for the game. And it is Callan Dawson, the lob doctor, says, hey, I can be at least the Ernie physician's assistant. Great move there by Callan Dawson, and they take game number one, 11-7. So, got close there at the end, but it is ultimately Loon and Dawson. There you see Dawson jumping the line and finishing. Really good. Game number one, we'll see more of this great action after this. All right, we are back. Game two, Tyler Lung to serve. A lot of good highlights in game one, and then we get a missed third. So we'll get it cranked up here in a second. Zero, zero, one. There you see Mario Barrientos serving. So, two rough thirds to start game number two after a really well played game one. Zero, zero, two. And a miss serve, right so uh, let's just start zero, over. Zero, let's one. just start over. All right, zero, zero, one. Here we go. Point. And a ball off the net, and that goes deep, so. Uh, one zero one. Wild play here to start. Beautiful short hop lob, and then usually you want to drop that, but uh, Staxrude chose to drive Point. it because what Dawson does is he wants it over your head quickly, so he leaves margin on the baseline with his lob. So Two, zero, one. Staxrude was able to get there quickly. I highly recommend dropping it if you track down a lob 90% of the time. You're just at a disadvantage if you drive it because your opponents are standing there at the kitchen. There's a nice job Boy. by Loon. If you bring it down the middle, he's sitting on it. He's been beat on his right shoulder with the backhand, but if you've got it on the forehand, Loon's just waiting Three, and watching. Zero, one. Oh my. 
And the net is a significant player in this point. Great job by Loom. You can see, not in a hurry to get back in there. So, great defense by Loon. About 14 bounces of the ball on the net. Ends up in favor of Staxrud yes. and Barry Antos. Side out. High third, and Dawson can't make the reset. So, uh, Staxrud and Barry Antos were. Three, one. In a hole in game one, fought back close, but couldn't get all the way there. Let's see what happens here as they're down again. Saw that, that ball's going well deep, but uh, couldn't get his paddle out of the way. One, three, one. who goes to the Ernie. Big jump, keeps the feet out of the kitchen. Well done. Two, three, one. Second serve. Two, three, two. Ling had a long way to go after that great deep serve. Oh, and the Ernie dropper. So despite having all the violence in that paddle, a little finesse on that Ernie. Well Three, done two, by Loon. So Barrientos and Gridley do get a pair. Point. And that's a Tough speed up from that position in front of you, and then uh, finds the tape. He's been much more effective with the backhand off the bounce. Thanks, sir. Dawson goes for the lob, and again, good job by Barry Antos of getting back on top of that one. 4 2 2. So the grindy point there goes to Barrientos and Stacks Rude. So a couple of nice points back to back for Staxrud and Barrientos. Three, four, see one. Barrientos to serve. Yeah. Nice Boy. job by Staxrud. Trains down in Florida. See him in the Simone Jardine. Some training videos. A lot of. Uh, Four, four, one. A lot of good things coming from Federico. Even played 
a mixed match with Same Elise sir. Jones and uh, learned how to dive for a ball as they both went after one a couple weeks ago. So uh, that is definitely a player on the rise and he and Barentos have it tied at four, four, four here three. in game two. And just right completely out. funky spin as the ace of spades hit the Vulcan paddle of Loong. 4-4-1. Four, four, so Loong to serve. Four apiece. Yeah. Ariantos finds one to pull the trigger on and uh, is able to get that done there. Four, four, Dawson two. could handle the reply. That's the thing. If you're going to pull the trigger, the good players are going to get it back. Be ready for the second one. He was ready. Beautiful lob volley there. And again, Staxford goes flying back and clobbers it. Point. Problem is, again, your opponents are standing there at the kitchen line ready to block that. And then you're at a significant disadvantage. Five, four, two. Good pace on that from Staxrud. Update from an outer court. Ben and Colin Johns pushed to the limits against Austin Gridley and Todd Fote. 10, 12, 11, 3, 11, 8, and I'm told they were in a big hold in, a hole in game three, but pulled it out. So they will move on. Second attack from Staxrud is thwarted, and we are back to dinking. Longest point of the match. And it is the Staxrud backhand that gets it done, flicks it down the middle. Five, five, one. Tied at five, Mario Barrientos serving. So a couple of patient points in a row, and Barrientos and Stax were doing a good job of moving the dinks around. That time it is Loong that Six, pulls five, the one. trigger and catches the net, and Stax and Barrientos have moved in front. Oh. Second serve. Barrientos on top of it just hit down a little too much. Second serve. Wow, the net is a factor. That time it is Dawson and Loong who benefit from that. So timeout for CD team score is six five correction, five six one. We've got a timeout called on the court, so another tight battle here. 
We'll be back with the end of game two right after this. Welcome back, everybody, to the club Ten. tournament Five, of six, one. champions. It's Callan Dawson to serve. Tight game two. And Barrientos liked a ball to attack off the bounce and was ready for the next ball as Dawson handled the first one but had to leave it up. 5-6-2. Just couldn't get it down to get to even at the kitchen line. So no harm done. Six, five, one. Barrientos to serve. So that Six, time sir. Loom chooses to go hard off the bounce. And when you're being attacked and you're letting attackable dinks Six, go, five, you two. let your opponents get away with bad dinking because you're not hurting them. That's a great first volley by Loon there. Right so gets it behind Staxford. Staxford moved to where he expected it and Five, was six, the right one. place to cover. Just too good by Loon. And there's one of those beautiful patented Loon drives and you've got the threat of Dawson. So it's those two things complementing each other. Six, Makes six, that first one. volley very pressure packed. Barrientos couldn't handle that one. Sometimes you're too athletic for your own good. That happened to Dawson there. Lung was waiting, but Dawson had a good beat on that one, but uh, ball got behind him on the back six, end. Six, two. Right up. So that third comes up short, and boy, we just inch six, six, one. an inch, an inch our way. Six, six here. So that's a tough ball Thank for Staxrud to choose to attack after all those because he is back six, at a little six, out two. of position, easy to see. So uh, got himself in a little bit of trouble there. That's going deep. So nice job of Lung and Dawson to hold their side. 6-6. Six, 6-6-1. Six. Six, six, Okay, so this time Staxford chooses to lob after tracking it down. Oh, and Barrientos can't help him back into it. But again, the Dawson lob catches you. He just wants it over your head quickly and leaves that Seven, margin six, on the one. back end. Great job of reaching in. So again, the margins are thin when you are dinking away. Leave it up. It comes back quicker than you're ready and forces a mistake. So the run is two. Will it continue? Oh, and the net says, yes, it will for Utah's own Tyler Loong. It's one of the advantages of driving thirds is you will get a net cord to either stay in or Nine, six, one. tag your partner or your, excuse me, your opponent or your opponent's paddle as that one did. Second serve. 
Nice job on the sky hook for Barrientos there. As Dawson will be relentless on the lobbing. That's why he's the doctor. Yes. Prescriptions are filled every Nine, match. Nine, six, two. Great job to get back to even here by Loon. Beautiful finish by Loon. That time he was ready for the Stacks Root attack down the line and then angle me this. So we are now, after a four point run at a match point, timeout called by Barrientos and Stax Rude. We'll be back. Can they finish? We'll find out right after this. All right, we are back and uh, we are staring at match point. The score is actually 10 6. 10 6 2. Side out. Nice third by Dawson, but uh, the bait ball caught him on the hook there. So, timeout works. Get the Six, ball ten, back. One. Barrientos. Stacks rude. Do they have an answer? Point. So, they get one back and mentioned the Johns comeback on an outer court. They were down 8 4 in the third. Seven, ten, and rattled one. off seven in a row to beat Gridley and Fote. Good seven, first third. volley there. Seven, ten, two. Side out. And again, if the it is a consistent theme. If that drive is up against these two, the point is over. Match point number two, Tyler Ten, seven, one. to serve. Ooh, shake and bake look good there. Dawson just not able to get there and finish. Second serve. Ten, seven, two. Third chance. Dawson not able to get that one down. So we will play on. 7 10 1. swing but nothing on it stays in so there's like no way from that swing the ball can stay in but it was not hit cleanly Eight, sometimes ten, that's the best thing you can do and they're within two here and that is a huge Thanks, rip by Stax Rude that just misses got the short return got exactly what he wanted to move within one but just missed it 8 10 2 Loom screaming right out, 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 or I'll just finish it with my forehand here. So, and after the point a couple of points ago, you never know, that thing might stay in. So Dawson Ten, eight, hangs one. in there on that one. Match point four. And that third just catches the tape. So will five be the answer? 10, eight, two. Oh, right Loon can't believe it. A little gust of wind comes up just as that ball was floating through the air. All 40 holes of the Durafast caught it and just Eight, hit the ten, top one. of the tape. So five chances, five holds.
Stackfrude and Barrientos save that first attack. We're back even now. Oh, good job by Dawson of moving Staxford to the middle with the dink and then going to his left. And then Staxford, not much margin as that was such a shallow dink to be able to do something aggressive there. Not a good ball position for that. So one hold, oh my. And the net says, you shall serve again, my man, Utah. So, Loom, Dawson, sixth match point. And will it be lucky seven? And this is the type of stuff that gets in your head. So, can they make a good third, either a drive or a good drop? as in seven match points to get there. But Dawson and Loong do get there. Barrientos and Staxrud really pushed them. So great match here on center court, but it is Loong and Dawson moving on here in Utah in the Pro Pickleball Association Club Tournament of Champions.